I feel like it was kind of Polly and her mother's um, hidden communication, like them not really saying anything to each other. Today, these Concord High School juniors are discussing the boarding house by James Joyce. Pretty typical stuff, you'd say, but they are doing this online, learning in a virtual educational world made necessary by the coronavirus pandemic. It's more open to how you want to do your schoolwork. You're not so kind of forced into a certain schedule of when you have to do things. And if you decide, like, you want to do all of your classwork in one day, you have the ability to do that. But along the way, there have been some trap doors. We saw it here with little things like muted microphones, bad audio, and glitchy video. Some kids say it's hard to just ask some questions, but most here just missed their friends. That's been something that's really challenging for me, just not getting to see other people who are also learning the same material, talking to them about it, asking them questions, not just my teachers. Um, so that's been something that I kind of wish I had right now. Education Commissioner Frank Edelblue says they're still working out a timetable for a return. We started out with a two week sprint, uh, then we extended for an additional five weeks. So it re it's obvious to us all now that we are running a, at least a 10K, perhaps a marathon. Edelblue says he hopes to know by the middle of the month whether classroom learning will resume in early May. Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.